In this video, we are going to talk about what happens when you have a check that you cut manually before you have the bill, and then how to go back and apply it after the fact. Okay, so let's say somebody comes in, they say, I want you to write this check, and you don't have the bill yet, but they're dropping some product off, and they say, the bill's in the mail, but we need you to put this check in, all right? So first of all, you can just write a check for the options, but if you want to run it through accounts payable, you can do that as well, because maybe it's a down payment. Maybe it's only half of the bill that you're paying at the time of delivery. All right, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to go into write checks, and uh, it's not going to be printed because so it's a manual check. And uh, we're going to come in here and choose the proper date, you know, today's date. This is a demo file, so it thinks it's 2015. Who you're writing the check out to, we're going to say Shaw Glass Company, what's the amount, $5,000, okay, it's down payment, half, half of payment, half payment up front, all right, and then you're going to choose your account here, you're going to pick accounts payable, okay, make sure under the customer job area, no, it says customer job, but you want to put in here Shaw Glass Company again, the reason for that is That'll apply this to Shaw Glasses Accounts Payable account. All right, if you have any class you want to put it in. And you're going to say, save and close. It's telling me I already have a check with that number, but that's OK. All right, so we have that transaction saved. Now we get the bill later. OK, so we have a bill, Shaw Glass Company, and the bill's dated 1215, and the amount's $10,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it under items. We bought, we don't have any items in this demo file, but we're just going to say we bought some uh, landscape and paving services. And we bought 1000 at $100. Whoops. 1000 at, I mean 100 at $100. Okay, $10,000. Do some quick math there. Huh? Um, choose a class. Choose a customer job if you want to. This is your real customer job now at this point. Who did you buy these for if you bought them for a specific customer? Okay, put in the bill reference number, all that fun stuff. So you're gonna say save and close. All right, now when we go look at a report, let's go look at a AP aging summary report in here. Notice that Shaw Glass has $5,000. That's right, right? We have a $10,000 bill. We already paid him $5,000. It's only $5,000. However, if you look more closely, we're going to double click on this total here. Then you're going to see that we have the check for $5,000 and we have a bill for $10,000. And they're not going to be applied to each other for right now. Okay? Um, so even when we get the second bill, it's still going to have that zero balance problem that we have in another video that we showed you. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go up to pay bills. You're going to say pay the bill for Shaw Glass Company. Notice once I click on it and highlight it, it tells me you have some credits available for this company. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark off on there. One of my preferences I have set is to automatically apply my credit. So it's going to go ahead and pay that, automatically apply the credit to that. We're not going to pay the $5,000 yet. You know, we're just applying the credit for today. So we're going to say $0 is the amount to pay today. And we're going to go ahead and say pay selected bills. Notice it doesn't give us a print checks because we're not, there's nothing to print. We just applied a credit to the bill. So now when I go look at my vendors and payables, AP aging summary report. Shaw glass, $5,000, nothing changed, right? Actually, when we look at it, we just have the one bill and the bill saying the open balance is $5,000. And that's what we really wanna see on our AP aging report.